So I'm in the anchor right now with James Rea, who's a veteran cycling reporter who has co-written the book, uh, The Tour de France for Dummies. James, let me ask you, what's it like driving this car and following the tour around? Um, this race is um, with an advanced day and a day afterwards, it's nine days. The Tour de France is 21 days, but the races develop the same way. They're stage races, they go city to city. and they do it day after day after day. The riders, many of the riders here are the same riders that are in the Tour de France. And um, you just, uh, the, the race unfolds. Someday there's long stages, someday today, for example, is only a 10 mile state, uh, individual time trial. But each day just unfolds and, and a, a, guy, a guy goes into the lead and, and you follow the peloton, uh, 130 riders in this race. Well, the interesting thing about this race is that we have the top three guys from this year's Tour de France, Cadell Evans and the, and the two brothers, um, Andy and Frank Schleck. And I think, um, speaking a little bit freely, they mean they're very strong riders, but they're also here as paid riders. I mean, they've invited them here, and, and, and they're not here probably not to win the race, but um, they're here uh, post-Tour de France on kind of a global whirlwind tour. The other riders, there's a mix of, you know, veteran Tour de France riders. George Hincapi, 15 times Tour de France finisher, won yesterday's stage. There's Levi Leipheimer, who's, you know, a, a podium finisher at the Tour de France. So you have a mix of veteran European riders, veteran American riders. How are you covering this race? Tell me about what it's like to cover the race. Do you go to the start and then drive to the finish, or do you just go to the finish? Well, you get you get a media sticker on your car, and, and you have your own you have your own ways of doing it. You go to the start, and many of the riders are available for interviews, and then you get on the road, and sometimes you drive two, three hundred miles to the finish, and uh, you get in the press room and you write your stories, and you do that day after day after day. Well, yesterday was what they call the Queen Stage. Um, we went over uh, two passes uh, of more than twelve thousand feet, and and in the Tour de France they never gone over a pass more than maybe 8,500 feet. Of course, there are meters in Europe. So yesterday was really, uh, as the writers like to say, that they, they suffered. But when they say we suffered, they enjoy suffering. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Here we are about to start the time trial, which is stage three. Who's your money on? I think today I'm going to go with uh, Tom Danielson. He's a Colorado rider based in Durango, and he's focused on this race for a long time. He's a good uphill time trialist. So I think I'm going to go with Tom Danielson today. All right. Well, um, when this uh, video airs, the race will have been over, so you'll see if James is right or not. So we'll see. We'll check see. the internet for results.